Yeah, what up y'all, it's your boy iPod King Carter here Welcome to another UFC 3 beta gameplay video In today's video, we will be playing Ultimate Team Now, I'm going to be playing Ultimate Championships Yes, this is online but this isn't just versus randoms. I will be going up against Dion, aka I Maverick. I will be going up against D-Man Unit 2014. And I will be going up against MMA Game. I hope you guys enjoy this video. The names of the fighters that I will be fighting will be in the bottom left corner. And I hope you guys drop a like. Let's hop into this video and let's get the knockouts going. Let's get it. All right, guys. So in my first match, I will be going up against Dion, aka I Mav. Um, I always have a problem calling I Mav something different than I Mav because that's how I met him. But he is fighting with a fighter that he said he didn't really like. Now this is Ultimate Team, which means you don't get to choose the best fighters or your type of fighter style. But what I can say about Dion's fight type and the way he fights, he loves to go head low, head low. He's not the guy who likes to only head hunt or likes to go to the ground mostly. Dion surprisingly loves to mix it up. Now, I just have a striker, which means I'm going to be getting a lot of god darn health events and stuff like that. But my thing is, guys, when you're fighting up against a fighter that loves to go head to body or head to legs, your block game got to be on a thousand. But I realize I'm really not a good blocker. I'm more of a type of just get out of the way you know i used to be okay at pairing but i'm kind of okay with the head movement nowadays man and i'm gonna tell you now kevin lee as a striker in ultimate team he is cheesy bro whether he's a bronze whether he's a silver gold it don't matter man kevin lee as a striker is insane bro i'm not sure if it's the power or what but kevin lee was doing me some justice man when i first started up uh ultimate team I think I was using maybe Nate Diaz or somebody else on a bronze card, and it just wasn't working out for me, man. I caught three losses in my first couple Ultimate Team Championship fights, but those three losses also came from me not playing the game before the other guys did, man, while we were out in Canada. Now, Dion knows that his head damage is really crazy right now. You guys can see it, man. And with that uppercut, I don't know how he dodged my uh, clinch, but it's all good, man. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and let him punch himself out because he can knock me out. His dude is not really a striker like that. But I taught Dion how to, like, use that head movement a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You notice he's starting to move his head a lot, man. Getting out of the way of shots to me on UFC looks amazing when they work. You know what I'm saying? When you move your head the right way or you slip a shot or, you know, a throw a counter, it is amazing, man. But you guys see, man, we coming down to the final minute of this first round. And just to let you know, the slipping is very real, man. You got to watch the way I slip this punch, man. Oh, oh, oh y'all didn't know. I knocked IMAP the hell out, bro. IMAP dead. You know what I'm saying? He's somewhere dead, bro. Look, another slip, another hook. But... He wobbling right now. It's about 30 seconds left on the clock. I'm at like, nah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go to the next round. You know what I'm saying? Look at him. What is he doing? What is he doing? He throwing his stamina away, bro. He want to get knocked out, fam. But you see me slip. And oh my God. He went night-night, baby. <laughs> hey, yo, listen. Somebody go call Kevin Hart right now and get that pillow, that endorsed Kevin Hart pillow. Because my man definitely went night-night off the slip hook. Oh my goodness, bro. But that was my first win in Ultimate Team uh, U UFC Championships. I feel like I'm a winner, man. I feel like I can make it all the way. You know what I'm saying? I feel like my next fight that I'm going to be going up against is going to be a body. But I have a little bit of information for you guys about a so-called fighter I'm about to fight up against right now. Now, if you guys didn't know, I'm Kevin Lee, right? But Nate Diaz is the homie D-Man unit, bro. So let me tell y'all about D-Man, bro. First of all, D-Man don't want no smoke with these hands. I'm just going to go ahead and say that, man. If you guys watched my previous video versus uh, D-Man when we were playing actual with real fighters and not ultimate team fighters, this dude was loving the clinch, loving the ground game, man. I think he's scared to put these paws on him, man. I, listen, I'm going to keep it all the way honest, man. Look, when it comes to striking, bro, I not I might not be the best with putting combos together, but I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to hit my target. You know what I'm saying? Everything is straight down the middle. 
I try not to use hooks too much just because sometimes my hooks are very slow opposed to other fighters. But, bruh, this dude, D-Man, yo, I was giving him the business all fight long, bruh. All fight long, you see it. Sit down, big fella. Sit on down, big fella. But look, so D-Man started realizing that it was getting real for him. And he was like, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and go to the ground because that's where I'm comfortable at. Yeah, D-Man, he a sucker for that, man. He a sucker for the ground game. He loves taking people to the ground because he ain't nice with the hands. He ain't nice. Look at me catching him, bro. All these one twos, one twos, bro. One two three, one two, one two, one two three four. Like killing this dude. But I ain't gonna lie, that kick right there, bro. That kick is amazing, bro. But yeah, so D man, he's gonna take me to the ground. At, oh my god, that is sad. But D man's gonna go ahead and take me to the ground. I'm gonna show you guys that momentarily. Because you see his head damage just going down, bro. Now, I don't know if it's because this Nate Diaz isn't like the real one. But I'm telling you right now, man. He wasn't fighting like he was with the real Nate Diaz, bro. He was throwing so many combos at me when we were playing. But now in Ultimate Team, he's trying to slip and throw different shots. And we didn't make no bet in this fight, guys. We didn't say, yo, kicks only, punches only, no ground game, nothing. I said, bro, if you want to try to get to that belt, go ahead and do what you do, man. And I'm going to tell you right now, because I do what I do, man. But check it out. This right here is when he realized he couldn't handle me, bro. Look at these, bro. One, twos, bro. Look at this. Look at this. He don't know what to do. But grab me, bro. So he took me to the ground. I was appalled. I was across the room just yelling at him, yo. Now, we are in the first round. Little do you know, we are now in the third round. Last 30 seconds of the fight. And look where we are. I I cannot make this up, guys. D-Man had me on the ground all fight long. He was trying to put me in submissions. He was trying to expose me for the ground game. I am a better fighter than this. I am. But I'm telling you right now, bro. D-Man, I got a message for you, bro. Come with the hands, bro. You don't have to be scared of me, bro. Because, yes, even though you had me on the ground for most of the fight, I still won the fight. D-Man, that ground game ain't going to save you, big fella. Come at me, bro. <laughs> but check this out, guys. In the last fight, I am fighting up against MMA game. And listen, I'm going to say this now. Iaquinta, bruh, is a glitch. First of all, I have a 77 reach, bruh. He only has 70. But you will see in this fight, reach don't matter. It's all about your chin. It's all about the fighter. And it's all about slipping shots, bruh. Because I was lighting Iaquinta up. And I thought I was doing good, but things just didn't end well for me, bro. I'm going to tell you that right now, bro. Things did not end well for me. I thought I was going to try to make it to the UFC championship. But, I, I, I mean, look, look, I can't, I can't make up no excuses no more. MMA game is freaking awesome, bro. Like, he puts shots together very well. He watches his stamina very well. And when he throws shots, he lands most of them. But I'm going to tell you right now, man, when I throw my shots and I miss, man, does he take advantage? Hell yes, bro. Like, when it comes to, like, being the best UFC YouTuber, uh, out of MMA game and, uh, uh, what is it? What is his nickname? Um, something Mind. I can't remember. I can't remember his YouTube name, but it's Something Mind. Like, bro. They, they nice with the hands, bro. I'm going to keep it all the way real, bro. They nice with the hands. Now, you notice I'm trying to come in. I'm trying to block. I'm trying to do everything that I can. Like, look, I'm throwing uppercuts, thinking I'm getting head damage. Nothing is happening, bro. Literally, I'm trying to snap his head back. I'm trying to get him in the health event, and nothing is working, bro. And I'm going to tell y'all now, man. It, it just got ugly for your boy, bro. He taking my body down. He taking my head down. He doing too much. Now, I ain't going to lie. After this fight was over, I looked at this fighter's stats, bro. I looked at what perks he had on. 
I looked at what boost he had on, and I'm telling you guys right now, bro. His owl had no boost on. He, I think he had like one boost for like me or something like that. He didn't have on any real perks, bro. He was just literally bodying me, bro, because he learned that most of my shots were straight, and he was just weaving me, bro. Like, he was keeping me on a nice little subtle... Look, look at the weaves, bro. Like, every time he weaved and I wanted to throw a shot, I'm like, bro, I got him. Nope. Like, I'm thinking about the throw shots. Like, look at this, bro. I'm literally on a cage trying to get away from this dude. Look, trying to get everything right, and I don't know what it is, but the way MMA game angles is, bro, look at this, bro. Like, look at his angles, bro. <laughs> Oh my god. I have no stamina. My legs are about to die. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That was my best shot, guys. That was like one of my best counters, man. And I couldn't do nothing. Look at this, bro. Look at the advantage, bro. Literally, every time he moves, look. Look at the advantage. I barely get any. Look. He still has advantage. Look at this. Look. Look. I literally hit him with uppercut, upper this, upper that. And he still knocked me out. Look at this uppercut and nothing matters. His chin was made of Wolverine skin. What straight up Wolverine skin, bro? That's a new word, bro. Hashtag that, bro. Wolverine skin, bro. Look at that, bro. I'm a bloody mess, bro. This is crazy, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. That was my road to the UFC Contender Championship match. And I got my ass whipped. <laughs> but uh, make sure you guys drop a like on this video, man. I really would appreciate it if you guys showed that support. I'm going to see you guys in the comment section as well, man. Everybody have a blessed day. Yes, I lost the championship fight, man. Shoot me in the chin. Literally. Bye.